Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Brood of War ladder cast. Here we've got Queen in the top right hand corner and a random no name Protoss in the bottom left. Well, you might not expect that a player the caliber of Queen, a two time ASL champion, could have anything but just an absolute stomp of a game against a random person on the ladder, but who knows? Queen is uh, he's well known for getting smashed by random no-name players, and maybe Lawrence here can take him down today if you're not uh, in the loop. Uh, the subtext to that is that during the ASL qualifiers this season, Mr. Queen was taken down by somebody that no one's ever heard of. It's just a random player who happened to sign up for ASL, took him down with an eight racks twice in a row and knocked him out. So he never even got to play in the group stages of the ASL. It was one of the biggest upsets I think we've ever seen. Um, but I think it might've actually shattered Queen's confidence. Unfortunately, this might be his kryptonite actually. Random, unknown Brood War players on the ladder could be his downfall. Uh, kind of ironically enough, considering he is one of the best of all time. One of the best uh, Brood War Zerg players of all time, being that he was once called Zero. And he has a illustrious career. Uh, as a Brood War player. Now, opening up with a pool first. Finally! Look at that. He's learned, boys. He's learned his lessons. He's gone for that nine pool. And he will be opening with sixlings. Going into a... Uh, hatchery here. So, the nine pool, the difference between nine pool and over pool uh, is quite big. It doesn't seem like that big of a deal uh, if you don't play a lot of Zerg or Protoss, but if you are a Protoss player, you know that this is a serious threat. For example, if you went for a very early Nexus and you're trying to get the gateway down and, and get your cannon out at the right time, um, you really need to see if it's a nine pool or not, or you could just get broken very, very quickly. Uh, same thing with Lings. Uh, if you open Zealot and the Lings can just slip by, uh, you can become in a pretty big mess very, very quickly. So, Lawrence did kind of the right thing. He blocked the ramp with the Zealot and Probe, but unfortunately for him, one Ling did man manage to make its way inside. Now, we'll see if this Ling can get any damage done. We'll check on that periodically to see if it has uh, any kills on it. Other than that, it's just going to be chased by a Zealot. This is really hilarious. I noticed this uh, a few casts ago. Um, that there's actually that little hole right behind the pillars here on Fighting Spirit. And it seems like a lot of pro players are actually aware of that. Queen definitely is because he's hiding the Ling up there. Just going to use it later for a bit of scouting. Uh, for now, just going to keep it at home. Uh, keep it in the base. Wait for the Zealot to leave, and now he's going to go ahead and look for some probe kills. Let's see what he can do. Meanwhile, Zealots are making their way over here to the third base, and there's a lot of lings to deal with this. Queen is taking this very, very seriously. Uh, he will allow the probe to get in, it looks like. Two Zealots behind the mineral patch is quite a headache. And we've got ling speed on the way. Ling speed on the way and no lair. Bit of an interesting uh, situation we have. There's the lair. Now finally finishing up, but I don't know if this will actually get a or be able to get a Spire out. Enable him to get the Spire out in time to deal with the Corsair. I don't think so. I think this is a little bit behind schedule. So let's see what he can do with this lair. He'll probably have to get a hy uh, Hydralis then uh, as a follow up to this because the Starport or Stargate should be starting any second. Target. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we lose a drone? <gasps> oh, no. He did lose a drone. Well, that is extremely painful. 
We've already built this many lings. We built way more lings. Look at how many lings we've got here to deal with this. He waits for speed. He finally goes in with that speed. And he will be able to clear this out. But at what cost? A lot of lings are going to go down. And he already lost one drone. All right. That was pretty decent. That clear up. And he started to drone up heavily. But how far away are we from... Yeah, we're going to go Hydralis then. So no... Spire here. No Spire. Stargate is on the way. He sees everything here in the main base. Been really utilizing that Ling a lot. Running it around, looking for kills when he can. And then just hiding it behind the pillars again. And there it is one more time. Gonna hide behind the pillar. Can the probe even get to it? No, it cannot. Kind of hilarious. Kind of hilarious. He's playing uh, hide and seek here. With the Ling over in that top corner. Bit of grounders or something like that. Not letting that zealot clear out the main base and deny any scouting. He's just going to keep running around inside the main scouting over and over again. And he doesn't even have to keep that active continuously. He can just hold position that in the top corner. I like it because I am a Zerg player. Now look at the Sim City here. I think we're going to have one more hatchery here. And then you should be able to put sunkins behind this if he needs to. I wonder if that's what he's going to do. Evolution chamber right there. Pretty darn good. Corsair comes through, but denied by Hydras. Are we going to have a Spire now? Or will he forgo that completely? No second gas, which is a little bit worrying. We did start plus one. And we're starting those Hydras production. But he hasn't started that second gas, which... I mean, you run out of gas very quickly as you're building all the Hydras upgrades. Um, and Hydras are being made. So he made, makes this hatchery here. Um, leaving quite a big gap right there. A little bit interesting. What's the follow up from our Protoss player? Whatever it is, Queen is going to see everything here in the main. Sees the archives. Sees the Stargate no longer producing. And Zealot's moving out now. Plus one is done. Speed is close to finishing. It's not quite there yet. But it will be ready soon. Range is going to be started here. And we do finally have that second gas now. They can start to make good waves of hydras here from six hatches. One last round of drones. He really went up to a pretty high drone, drone count at this point. Getting caught with your pants down here. Might be how Queen ends up losing this game, but... He's got a good position on top of the ramp with the sunken in range of the ramp and the lings blocking this. It's pretty hard to get up there. Good block over here as well in the natural. And yeah, you can't really take that fight there. Even though it's lings fighting against zealots and the zealots have plus one, it's still... It's just, it's just not a good fight when you can't get that good of surface area. It might be better to run through and go down this way. Um... And just see if Zerg can react in time. Bring all the lings over here to block. That might actually be the play. Maybe bring up some reinforcements this direction. You know, bring a, a second wave of zealots around. Uh, to this side. And then bring the zealots down here. From uh, over here at the natural. But now that there's this many hydras. I don't think that's even a possibility anymore. That is too many hydras at this point. Um. Just pure Zealot is going to end up getting wrecked. So he's probably going to make the right choice by sending this probe over here. Lawrence. Old Lawrence over here. To go ahead and snag this base. Night Queen going to slowly move forward. Everything looking pretty darn even right now, actually. When all is said and done. Even though we opened nine pool and didn't really get too much damage, I think the macro is kind of even things out. Going to be starting a nexus up here. It's a little bit of a scary moment though, because there's no no templar up on this high ground. He's going to send one templar up to this area. If he can get the templar to here, it's not going to be worth it to try and charge up this ramp anymore. Zealots need to be right on top of this ramp. Ready to block Hydras and Lings from running up here. He's a little bit far back. Let's see if any headway can be made. A great storm. Right on the top. And only 10 more seconds until his next storm. So he should be able to hold on here. 
That's a lot of high just coming though from a lot of different angles. Can he actually break up, break his way up this ramp? The ults are gonna back up, wait for the Hydras to commit. As they come up the ramp, once again committing here, Zealot's gonna run into the uh, reinforcement train actually of Hydras coming across. Another storm comes out. Where are the Templar? Templar making their way up onto the high ground here. Good defense so far from Lawrence. He's actually gonna head up to 12 o'clock right now. Ooh, Templar goes down. A little bit frustrating, but as the Templar goes down, the third or fourth base, excuse me, here of Queen does get hit and taken out. Dragoons are starting to increment out now and cannons are on the way. A drop is coming through. Oh, this is gonna get interesting. Drop heading in two different directions right now, but this direction could be cut off by the over or the um, Dragoons here. Oh, is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Oh, it's so close. He didn't maneuver his Dragoons properly though. And the drop will likely get off here, dropping one Lurker into the main base and one gonna go over here into the uh third oh he's not actually dropping that okay he does drop that that's gonna get some damage i think lurkers over here probably not gonna get too much but probes are transferring in both different directions are these probes gonna get caught here oh my god these probes these probes oh dude the probes everywhere getting caught right now the army taking a lot of damage as well he's even storming his own stuff what do we got? 10 kills over here, 5 kills over here, and how many over on this side? Zero so far. He's gonna have to send his probes away once again. They're finally getting a kill. This lurker and this lurker going down as well. Things are getting hectic here. Really doing a great job thus far. Picks up his lurker, bringing it back here into the main. Can he get some more damage right now? He's gonna try for it, but an observer plus a cannon is ready. And this should be cleaned up without any more trouble. So Lawrence here, a bit panicked. He managed to keep the majority of his probes though. Still on 45. That's a reasonable economy on three bases. So he should be all right. Sending some zealots finally out on the map. He's been on the back foot for quite some time. Just cleaning up those drops. And what has Queen managed to accomplish during that time? Well, he's getting into his upgrades pretty well. Oh, another drop. He's looking for a location to try and get in here, but we do have an observer, I think. Where's the observer? There it is, sitting over top of the river. He's gonna be able to see this coming in and the overlords should be able to shut this down, no problem. Here we go. Overlords, or the dragoons, excuse me, should be able to shut this down. Um, Is he going to cast storm on this? Probe's gonna be pulled away once again. Where's that storm? Oh, the probes need to run. Oh, the probes need to run. All right, that's a pretty good storm. And the probes don't really get, end up getting picked off here. For the most part, still alive. Another like, maybe thinking about drop over here. Queen, really utilizing drop play this game. Four zealots are gonna make their way up to the 12 o'clock though. Maybe shut that base down. Unless Queen reacts instantly to this, that base will end up falling. Four Zealots with uh, plus two, is it now? Plus one. We'll take that out quite fast. <clears throat> You'll probably end up losing the Zealots, but... Okay, if he runs away uh, as soon as it's dead, he might actually get be able to do both. Oh my god, he wasn't paying attention. He didn't have it right-clicked. Just need to right-click that. Oh my god, he gets it. Oh wow, last hit there. The very final hit. You know, it looks like maybe we were trying for a drop, but ended up turning away at the last second. So Queen, just gonna leave these overlords over here. Loaded up with dropping materials, but not being sent in just yet. And Lawrence, his army has grown dramatically now. Is he gonna be able to get out on the map and prevent more bases from coming up here for Queen? Queen, sending in the drops now. <clears throat> Let's see what he can get done here. And Lawrence appears to be ready. Bring down some storms on top of this, and wow, that's gonna get cleaned up incredibly easily. Not really working out for Queen in the slightest. However, a lot of lurkers being made on the high ground here. We've got a good defense over here. 
a beautiful defense here as well. And he's starting to set up down here in the bottom right. As long as he goes ahead and gets a Nidus down here, I think he's going to be in good shape. Nidus this location first. Not put a Nidus here a little bit later because that's already well defended. Um, we don't have Defilers yet, even though it's 15 minutes on. Uh, I think that's primarily because there's been so much chaos with all the drops. But we'll see if that comes to bite. Comes back to bite uh, Queen here, not having that just yet. We got Adrenal Glands on the way. Plus one armor is coming up. Plus one attack is a long way away here for these Lings. So they're not going to be doing too well. Versus the plus one armor here of Protoss. Protoss pushing in, getting great storms on the Lings that are incoming. There's the Nidus finishing up. I guess that was the Nidus to the top left. And a lot of units are going to pop through here. Saving the day for now. Great storms coming down on a lot of these Hydras. And it's... Not a lot of great splitting for Queen during this. I think mostly because a uh, majority of his units are not hot keyed right here. And he's focusing on macroing out more reinforcements during all of this. Doing a pretty good job holding at this location. And as the Zealots dry out, you can't really push any further. I think this is a great hold from Queen. And it seems like he's got all the uh, extra bases he needs right now. He's got the high grounds in both corners of the map. And as long as Lawrence doesn't go down here right now and kill this base, I'm going to favor Queen heavily in this game. Let's see if he can get down here, guys, because there's no Nidus just yet. This is the first part of the Nidus, I think, right here. Yeah, this is. Looks like a drop comes in. Lurker's going to get some kills here. We got one kill and five kills. So that is some damage. It's not a huge amount, but it is some. Lawrence needs to get down here and break this base right now if he wants a chance in this game. The Nidus has finished, but it's not connected just yet. Where is it going to connect to? I don't think he started it yet. Um, lurkers are going to spread. There it is. The Nidus has just begun. We'll have to pay attention to that. Uh, and see how close this defense truly is. Can he actually hold here? That's quite a few storms coming down. And a lot of those lurkers do die. Is he going to break up here? No. He backs away. Oh, I'm shocked. I am shocked about that. We need to ram our army up here and kill this base right now. Just defend with Templar and storm everywhere else. But a few links move through the middle. And he moves to defend that. And now the Nidus Canal is connected. And he should be able to defend the space. Although he hasn't sent anything through here just yet. Queen, what are you doing right now? We need to actually get units over here to the bottom left. Uh, one Lurker is not going to be sufficient. Wow, Queen really giving Lawrence here a way back into this game. Allowing him to come up here and kill this. Oh my god, he's turning around again. What is he doing? Wait, what? What are we doing right now? Okay, he's going to turn around again. Lawrence really uh, back and forth right now. Not making any choices. Finally does decide to pull the trigger on trying to break this base after all the units pop through the Nidus. He's getting flanked at the same time. Dark Swarm helping out a lot here for Queen. Zealot's pushing forward. Uh, storms are going to come down here. Can he get the double storm on the eggs on the left-hand side? It seems like he can't. And some eggs are going to get uh, dark swarmed here as well. Lurker is coming through. This is just way too much now. And Queen looks like he's going to be able to push through here. Oh, he doesn't get that last storm as well. That's really brutal. Running straight up on the Dragoons. Not the greatest play for these Lurkers. And they're actually going to get wiped out. Oh, my God. What was that? Like eight Lurkers just died uh, under two storms and a, a bit of Dragoon fire? That is craziness. Storms coming down here, but the Lings are outnumbering Dragoons and Templars. And finally, he will be able to push through it, it seems. Needed to bring this force as well, I think. Now bringing up some more Zealots. Archons and Templars going to be trailing behind this. Can he get up here? Building cannons on the high ground right now. Wow. 
What a crazy play here from our Protoss. He finally brings these units. Definitely needed them a little bit sooner though. I'm gonna start to throw down some storms here. It's not the perfect block on the ramp right now. And he's gonna go ahead and storm and just run right up through his own storm. Try to break this ramp right here right now. Can he get up and shut down this Nidus Canal? That is gonna be the key right here. Oh, one, <laughs> one Ling gonna shut down those uh, building cannons. Still a ton of Zealots right now. Running through the storm here. No Dragoons with this army. So it's pretty hard to fight Lurker Hydra right now. Pretty decent storms there. But a lot of these Templars are getting sniped right now. As long as all the Templar go down, he shouldn't be able to break this unless... Wait a second, Zealots. The power of the Zealot just running over this. He will be able to kill all that. He needs to go after the Nidus right now, though. The Nidus is so important. If he doesn't get this Nidus, he could still easily lose this top position. Oh my god, he gets a great plague. Awesome storms here as well. Target the Nidus, oh my god. Target the Nidus, there we go. He finally does get it. I'm cheering for Lawrence, guys. Lawrence here. Was having a tough time in this game, getting dropped like crazy by a pro player, but he has finally managed to take over bottom right and maybe just maybe he can take this to a long game here against Queen. Two-time ASL Pro. Queen, aka Zero. Will he get taken out by Lawrence on the ladder? Lawrence, I don't know why that name just makes him sound like such an average Andy. I really can't explain it, but old Lawrence here putting up a great fight. A drop going to come in. Looks like towards the main base. Could throw Lawrence off here for a little bit. And give the opportunity for Queen to retake the bottom right. Or at least prevent Lawrence from taking it himself. Massive Ling drop here. But plenty of units actually for Lawrence. And he should be able to clear this out without too much of a problem. Zel Zerglings do kill buildings very fast. He actually needs to move down here quickly to deal with this he's not actually reacting and so a lot of more buildings are gonna go down here don't want to lose the robotic support bay especially not with this upgrade just about finished does manage to get that i think we're gonna see a plague come down here shortly armies meeting in the middle of the map right now and lawrence cannot take this fight he actually needs to back up and get cannons on this high ground over here he's got uh 2500 minerals no cannons being built there in the bottom right. Kind of crazy to me. We are building Reavers, though. And we're backing up to our high grounds. It really is time to start taking bases in the bottom right. How are we doing on minerals? Well, we're just about mined out in the center left. We are getting close in the bottom center as well. Reavers here are going to be landed on top of the Lurkers. He will be able to clear that out. But loses a Templar in the process. Moving the army through the bottom. He's going to head down here to the bottom right once again. It's a shame that Queen didn't send a few links down here to maybe clean out some pylons. Pick off some of those probes down there. Do something. Another loadout being sent forth here. A lot of links in this one. Not completely full, but that's quite a few links. Reavers are starting to take out Lurkers here for free. These are great trades right now. Uh, with just scarabs being traded out for lurkers. You've got to be feeling good. Coming down here towards the bottom center. Oh man, lurkers just getting eaten up by these reaver shots as well. Another drop going to come in. And this drop is actually completely headed for this base. That's all Ling's going to be dropping here. And the reavers should be able to deal a lot of damage. Especially if he adjusts the probes. No, he does not attack with the probes. To try and create a wall and man everything just evaporates here this base is done just gone wow that was very very fast i've never seen a a, a drop take out reavers and uh, cannons quite that quickly that was very well done here by queen now going to rotate over here. Try to stop 
the lings from getting up here to kill his cannons but i think these lings will actually get both cannons kind of crazy but we are three two or two three excuse me and now we've shut down all here queen has shut down all of the bases the mining bases of lawrence except for this one right here 180 minerals left on some of these patches that is brutal there's really not much left here for lawrence at this point 27 probes he's gonna try to break top left it looks like let's see what he can do coming up with the reavers gonna place them in a nice spot great first shot there with the reaver Getting some good storms here on the right-hand side. A lot of lurkers being set up here on the left. Only one reaver here. We'll pick that up. Bails it out of a precarious situation. Bringing it back into a little bit of a better spot. One plague going to go down. Really good plague. Going to remove all of this, the health off of this reaver. And with just five shields, that's one shot away. Basically anything from dying. Scourge are going to come forward here. Archon's going to have to fight against the... Lings under Dark Swarm, but another wave of Zealots making its way forward. Can he actually break through up here? Oh my god. We're going to see Lawrence break through. Some Hydras on the high ground. Going to be helping out quite a bit. Storm, though, on them. Uh, and they just kind of evaporated here. Lings are going to come from behind. Is he going to target down the Reaver? Yes, he does target that down. Getting rid of that Reaver. Sending the shuttle back to possibly go pick up another one. More lings coming out here. Zealot's trying to fight. A probe is in the mix. Just in case maybe if he wins this uh, battle, he could try to build a base up here in the top left. But Queen should be able to overwhelm this, or can he? That's a, that's a good number of Zealots here. And a few Archons in support. Going to be laying down that splash damage from the back line. God damn, lings do not fight good against this. Especially not with plague. Like, there's no plague out here right now. And the zealots are going to be fighting through. All the drones are going to be dying as well. The probe should be getting up here right now. I got to get up in this position. And the nidus will fall. Wait a minute, guys. What in the heck is happening right now? Lings are popping out and just dying immediately. And GG is called Lawrence. Lawrence, what? Lawrence takes this one home, guys. The Kryptonite of Queen. Zero. Not able to take down your average Andy Lawrence. My goodness, Lawrence. Playing the game of his life here. Should have played an ASL, man. Could have taken down Queen. Gotten himself a title. Holy crap. How did this happen? Queen. Falling apart here in the late game. I never thought I would say those words, but... Queen absolutely falling apart, man. What the heck was that? He killed this base. And he had this up and running. He had everything going along, chugging along here fine. Even now, it's not the worst position in the absolute world. We've still got mining here. And there's nothing... Nothing here for Lawrence. He's got no money at all. Making three high Templars and a Scarab. That's all he can afford. We've still got 5k gas. Just a little bit of minerals here. But still plenty on one base to continue to, uh, to make units and uh, force fights here. Just build a lot of Hydras. Hydras are your best friend in these type of situations because the units are so precious. Hydras and a few plagues are going to carry you here. But he gives up and Lawrence going to take home this victory. I am shocked at that result, guys. So when I saw this base go down, um, or this base, excuse me, when I saw this base go down, I thought the queen was going to run away with this game. No problem. He basically had it in the bag. And maybe that's what he was thinking as well. But Lawrence, proving to be a true ladder warrior, takes him out. That was an exciting game, guys. Very much enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you did, make sure to like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.